this first shovel, I break ground on the solar panel mounts. Thank you. Thank you. I don't even know where to go with this. That was a pathetic shovel full. <laughs> So this is the next day. I dug a little bit out yesterday, maybe almost two feet, and I got that extra foot done today. It's very tough actually digging once you, especially once you get down to that two foot level. You get a, I'm getting a lot of rocks. I've been pulling stuff like this out of the hole. Not fun. <laughs> I've just been using my usual instruments of construction. My post hole digger. Post hole digger, which actually kind of came in handy trying to get down to three feet because I can't reach down there with my arm. I don't have that kind of wingspan. And a little tin can. I use this in conjunction with the, with the bar over there thanks to the suggestion of one of my neighbors Linda May, thank you. <laughs> now I'm ready to see how this post looks like inside the ground. So I picked up these 10 foot 4x6 wood posts a while back. And this is what's going to be used to hold up the solar mount. I'm going to see how it looks inside the ground right now. <laughs> looking okay. I think I'd like to widen up a little bit area, maybe just give it another inch or so right around some of these areas. I guess I'm not done digging yet. So when I put the post in, everything was looking good. I tried getting it oriented just the way I wanted it. But when I brought out the level to check it out, I just couldn't get it perfect. So the hole probably was not at the correct angle. It was probably off, it wasn't going straight down. So I cleared a little bit more material from the front of the hole. Now I hope when I put the post in there, it should have plenty of room around it when it is square to be able to get that concrete all the way around it. This post often takes a little bit of finagling, but I got it, I got it back in there. <laughs> Let me pull out the level, see how it looks. Now there should be plenty of room. Oh yeah, looking good. But now that I had to pull the post out in order to correct the hole, now I gotta reorient it. So what I've been using is that I just got a compass, one of the uh, Silva brand, and I've just been using that to just sort of try and get the best orientation possible for this post. I really want this dead south as I can get it, and this should help. <laughs> now I know technically any post you should set should be plumb and level. But this post is probably the best post I've ever set. <laughs> it has got to be dead on perfect. Now I just I held it kind of in place while Pete poured the, uh, the concrete mix in there. And it is, it is awesome. <laughs> I even had the compass just to get that perfect orientation so that it's, it's not too far to the east or the west. It's looking good. All right. So now that I got the post in, I want to build the frame that the panels are going to go on. Now I'm doing it that way because I just want to make sure, like even though I measure, I still just want to have the physical frame there just to make sure when I put in that next post that I got the right distance for it. So to put this frame together, and I know Technically, I probably shouldn't be using wood for solar mounts in the first place, but I'll get into that in a little bit. <laughs> but I'm using a combination of wood glue and screws at various points, especially around the joints and where any of these wood pieces meet, just for a little extra security. And hopefully this thing will be a little bit sturdier. Look at this little guy right here. We've been seeing a lot of these things around lately. Kind of a cool looking little bug. 
this is the next day. Unfortunately, we had to call it quits a little earlier yesterday because we're getting rain. The monsoon season is here. It is well underway, which is not the ideal conditions for when you are trying to put up, build a wood frame, nor is it for fiber adobe, but we're making do. <laughs> so I ran out of concrete mix that I was using for, or I'm almost out of concrete mix that I used for this post right here. But I didn't really want to buy a whole nother bag because I don't think I need a full bag to set this other post in. So what I'm just gonna do is just, we had some Portland cement lying around and I still have that sandy gravel mix. So I'm just gonna add those two together and just use that to kind of mix my, make my own concrete mix that's at this post. I think it should do pretty well. <laughs> Now I never really made a uh, concrete mix before, so I'm not really sure how much cement to gravel mix, but I think this looks pretty good. I'm gonna give it a shot. So Jess and I here are going to set the second post. I'm just gonna kind of hold it where it needs to be, and uh, Jessica's gonna fill this in. Dead on balls accurate. D-O-B. <laughs> now, I'm just gonna get some water, get this set in and we should be good. I got the water poured. I just gotta let the concrete set and this is good to go. 